2018, the world's most influential media, entertainment, and technology show. Six leading bodies are the partners behind the IBC, an event that in 2017 attracted over 57,000 attendees and 1,700 exhibitors. Hi, I'm Ashley with InBroadcast. Joining me is Richard Brandon of Edgeware. Hello. Hi. Hi. So tell me briefly about Edgeware. Yeah, so Edgeware, we're a Swedish tech company. We provide infrastructure and systems for IPTV and OTT delivery. And you have a couple new things here at the show. What are you currently highlighting? Yeah, we do have some, uh, some pretty exciting stuff, actually. We have uh, a new product in the area of, of uh, ad enablement or ad uh, insertion, so personalized ads, where we can prepare the stream to very f accurately replace it with another ad. So one of the challenges we have uh, as an industry with inserting a new ad where there was an original ad comes from segmentation. When you, you've chopped the stream up into little pieces and the ad marker normally ends up in the middle of the segment. When you replace it, you can get a glitch. You might see a little bit of the old ad or you lose a bit of the program. And what we can do pretty uniquely is, is make sure that that segment uh, changes where the ad marker is. So you see a completely seamless replacement of the old ad with the new one. Fix it. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's great. We've got it demonstrated here on the show, uh, and also, which is new for us, we're running that um, in what's called containerized software, which is cloud-friendly. It's really a software produced in little chunks, which is optimized to run in the cloud. On our, on our demonstration here, we're playing um, our original stream and our original ad out of Google Cloud. The replacement ads being streamed in by uh, one of our partners, Yospace, out of the Amazon Cloud, and the whole thing looks like it's just a single continuous TV stream. Wow. Many new things. Very yeah. cool. And can you talk any bit about what we can expect to see in the future? Yeah. Any trends you're noticing? Yeah, I think. Um, uh, ad insertion seems to be a hot area. We've talked about it for several years, but I think it's really becoming real. And a similar technology, but a different use case, is personalization of, of TV programs. So the idea of you seeing maybe even a public broadcaster show without any ads, but uh, a different version of that show for you. Maybe you're watching uh, your sports and you get a different pre-run because of the team you support. Um, same kind of underlying technology, but quite an interesting use case. I think that's, that's an area we'll see more of. And then more at the kind of platform level, uh, 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 this, I, I guess cloud isn't new, but this optimization of cloud, we'll see more people starting to optimize and adopt um, what's called things like Docker containers and, um, managed by systems like Kubernetes. And, and that's more of an implementation platform thing, which is, which is a highly efficient and an agile way of deploying all of this stuff. So for people that want to know more about all of this, what's your website they can go to? Yeah, they can find out a lot more at our website. That's edgeware.tv. Okay, everyone be sure to check them out. Thank you so much, Richard. Thank you very much.